Hey guys, how's it going? Snowball here coming at you with another tutorial. This one's going to be on Photoshop and Cinema 40. I'm going to be showing you how you can import your own 2D logos or images from Photoshop into Cinema 40 so that you can make it make them 3D, adding all the lighting, materials, shadows, all that jazz. And there are multiple ways you can do this, but the best way in my opinion is by pen tool. So that's what I'm going to be showing you. So select the pen tool and what you want to do with it is outline your image. So I've got a curve over here. The way you want to pass that is click and drag till you fit the curve, like so. But as you see over here, I've got another curve going inwards. But if I try doing that, the line sort of follows through with the previous curve. The way you want to go by this is just by clicking Alt and clicking your last point so that it cancels the follow through. And then you can just uh, make the new curve. So I'll just fast forward this part till I finish off this outlining. So after you've got your outline, you should you guys should obviously spend a lot more time on it so that you get a better result. But after you're happy with it, just go to File, Export, Paths to Illustrator. What do you want to make sure that it's on pa Work Path? Click OK. Save it where you want to save it. And just open up Cinema 4D. When you're on Cinema 4D, go to File, Open. Find that file, double click it, and just click OK here. And there you go, that's basically your image that you just outlined. Let me just center this out. So to make it 3D, all you got to do is select the um, extrude nerves like so and drag the folder, the null object or the path so that the arrow is pointing down on the square like so. But this doesn't do anything for some reason. The way you want to go about this, go on the extrude nerves go to object and make sure that this box over here is checked now you can add whatever um, effects you want I'll increase the depth add some fillet caps for example I don't know guys do whatever you want but basically after you've done that what if you've got already a project that you want to import this into that's really simple all you gotta do is just command or control C go to that project command or control V let me just rotate this around for you guys. Lift it up. And there you go. It's in your project. You can add a nice material on it or whatever. And basically, guys, that's how to import your 2D logo from Photoshop into Cinema 4D. I hope you found this tutorial um, useful. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you did, share it around. Do whatever, guys. Thanks for watching. Please give it a thumbs up. This has been Snowball. Peace out.